All right, what we're looking at here today is a PS3 motherboard. And I want to talk about why reflowing does not work. Um, some people think that the solder balls underneath this chip uh, unsolders themselves. And it could happen. It does happen. Um, and I know that reflowing a chip will make it usually work again. But when you actually get a chip reflowed, you can ask the people, how long do you guarantee it? Most of them will, won't guarantee it at all, or they only guarantee it for maybe 30 days, if that. Um, this one here uh, might have been tried to be reflowed. Um, it came in uh, a while back, um, and someone said that it had the yellow light. And when I opened it up, of course, I seen this. What you're seeing here is flux. Um, Basically what they would do is take a hot air gun, or some have reballing stations and use it, but if you have a reballing station and you're just heating up the chip and not actually redoing the solder balls, uh, I mean, I guess it's kind of stupid. But they will take a gun like this one, and this one has a small tip on it right now, uh, and they would actually heat the board up. And the temperature that they would heat the board up to is 215 degrees, uh, blah, 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 enough to melt the solder balls. Uh, now, here's the thing, is I was watching a YouTuber. Um, I'm not sure if he wants me to mention his uh, YouTube channel. Um, I will have to ask him next time and I'll give him a shout out, but um, he is a pretty famous YouTuber. He works on Apple products. Uh, and he had this video out that said, hey, guess what? It's not the balls, it's the chip. Um, and inside here, these chips, it all gets messed up. And when you heat it up with this, with a bigger end of course, because that's a smaller end, I must have been doing something. I don't know what I was heating up at the time, uh, last I used that. Uh, you actually fix the chip temporarily and he had a way to prove it. He said to actually heat the chip to like 115 or 140 degrees um, and it would magically work. Now this is under the temperature of what solder melts. So if that's fixing the chip and fixing the issue and it turns on again, how could the solder balls be the issue? Now, I have tried this technique on many PlayStation 3s, and he is 100% correct. Uh, now, on this one, the heat sink cover or plate is missing on this one, um, and it's here. This just pops off, um, and there's more heat sink in there. Now, a lot of people would actually leave this on, too, when they re reflow it. Reballing is another technique where you actually remove this chip, you clean the board, you clean the chip, and you put new solder balls on. Uh, does that work? Now I'm using a little thing to make it flat to make it where you can see. But now as you see here, now there's a problem with this. Um, when Now if you have a gun like this, I don't know where my uh, bigger end's at, but let's say I have an end about the size of that. When I put this over the top of it, now people say to go back and forth and all this other stuff and blah 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 and it's going to fix this chip. Um, if you can make a heat shield and people say to make a heat shield oops I am making a mess it doesn't matter anymore um, and you can prevent this but look at all these little things you're going to be heating up all this little stuff you're going to be heating up if you knock out one of these you could prevent the system from working and let's be honest I mean look at this look at this whoever did this job just I mean, had no, they didn't even clean the chip. Um, and I told this client that uh, this board was dead unless we replace the chip. Um, the chip totally needs to be re replaced. Um, and PlayStation 3 Fast, let's just be honest, is not worth replacing this chip. Um, what, what my labor is going to be to replace this chip and what it's going to be to get the new chip and blah, 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 blah. It's going to be, you can buy yourself a PlayStation Slim or even a Super Slim and go from there. Um, now, some people are going to say, what if this is backwards compatible? Um, as you notice, this is a backwards compatible board. Uh, but still, I mean... 
is it really worth it? How much more is a backwards compatible really worth? And are we going to get this chip, go get this chip new and trust the source that this chip is going to be brand new and it's going to work? Um, no, it, it's just not going to. Uh, so, and whoever did this job for him, it really just did a messy job. I mean, that, I'm sorry, you, you don't leave that in a system. Um, this system worked, I think it was a week, a week and a half after he got it fixed. So, I mean, reballing and reflowing is two different things, and you don't want to get them messed up. Um, I think reflowing anything is kind of a waste because you're taking the solder balls that are underneath the system that already failed. Let's say it is, let's say it is the solder balls, 110 percent, and you're going to reflow this. You're using them solder balls that are already messed up, and you're going to trust them to do it. You know, to never do it again. That's not right. Now. These are lead-free solder balls under here, and usually when you replace them, you replace them with lead solder balls, which has a higher temp of melting, which helps a little bit if you get a new chip. This chip has been beat. It's overheated, 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 overheated. Let's just be admitted that the design is really bad, and I don't think my camera can get underneath here. You can see some of the balls. But um, my camera is older, and um, I will get my microscope out, and we will look at that, and uh, maybe I'll put a clip of the microscope up on this YouTube video. I doubt it, though. I'm sorry. Um, but this is a good example of why reflowing does not work. Yes, reflowing is going to work, and you hear people, oh, you just reflow it again, reflow it again. Eventually, this chip is just going to fail totally, and it's not going to work. So anyone that tells you reflowing is the way to go, yes, it's going to get you up, but you don't need your PlayStation 3 up to save your data. The hard drive is can be taken out. Right here is where the hard drive goes on this board. It will slide in. It's the one that goes in this one, and you slide it in. You could take that out and recover your data. That's not a big deal. Um, but this this was a very poorly designed, and Xbox did the same thing. So what we're looking at is a backwards compatible PlayStation 3 that is not worth fixing, in my opinion. Now, I'm going to get comments on here that I'm wrong, and I welcome those. But at the same time, my customers are leaving knowing that their PlayStation 3 is broken, and I'm not fixing it. And they're coming back to me in three weeks saying it broke again. And then they're not coming back to me three weeks after that, it broke again. And again, and again, and again. Because I'm being honest with them and saying it's not worth putting money into this PlayStation 3 any longer. I would rather sell you a refurbed unit that I have, a PlayStation 3 Slim, a PlayStation um, 3 Super Slim, or even a fat model that I've refurbished that never had this issue. Um... Now they're out there. There are some out there, but the fat just doesn't doesn't do well. It doesn't. It overheats so easy. People put them in cabinets and this and that, and they don't clean them out. They get dusty and blah blah blah. It's just not something that you want to see. It, it just isn't. Um, PlayStation Three boards. Uh, this is a huge board too. I mean, it is just a massive board. Uh, and a bad flawed design and the person that did this reflow he told me he had it reballed and I guarantee this wasn't reballed I I know it wasn't um, this is a total reflow job uh, they were sticking the flux underneath and squirting it underneath they probably used Kester uh, that was a, that you get Kester with the kits on eBay um, and I don't reflow these. The same thing with the HP model and compact models that have the GPU unit issue on um, the older HPs, even some of the newer HPs. Their GPU overheats and they're garbage, and then you can reheat them, and boom, they work. And the Apple product had an issue for a while, and they work. And it's, I tell everyone that does this, take it, set this at 115 degrees, whoosh, sit there for five minutes, whatever, and boom, it'll work again. But at 115, this didn't melt. The solder underneath didn't melt. So I'm telling you guys, um, reflowing is garbage. Uh, yes, it might get you back up and going for a couple weeks. If that, sometimes I've, I've seen reflow jobs work longer. And I, it just matters how hardcore gamer you are. But um, this, this board now is uh, basically scrap. Uh, it doesn't, I wouldn't trust this 
this unit right here, this chip at all. So there we go.